Hey, how's it going, everybody? So, the sun has just come up here in Minecraft, and I'm standing up here on this hill next to my bed, and I may have found the spot where I want to build. Now, I am playing in creative mode. As you can see, I've already got nether armor. I've already decorated it with redstone and nether quartz because you know why not uh i have a pearlescent frog light to light my way around i've got a red bed and i found a spot i've been going through making new uh maps and deleting them because i just couldn't find an area where i wanted to build uh watching a whole bunch of videos uh, to try and get ideas for building. And I've gotten quite a few ideas, and then I found this area. So as you can see, I have some nice gray and beige and white terracotta around here. We've got trees in different states. We've got some birch over here, some oak in fall and summer foliage we've got purple trees over there and if we turn around and we take a look down here in the valley we've got a river running here down to a little village and then out into this lake where there is this great big spire out there on the other side of the lake and that's not where i'm going to build where i'm going to build is just behind this village on top of that mountain right there and the reason for this is this area right here appeals to two sides Canadian and Scottish so this area where I want to build is forested highlands and we've got a whole bunch of biomes surrounding this area we've got more highlands over here and over here Blooming Plateau there, some highlands there, windswept savanna, which is where that spire is, right there. Those purple trees we saw are in the Lavender Valley. And then we've got Sakura Valley over here with pink trees. We've got some Siberian Tiaga. And if we go down here, we've got Moonlit, Moonlight Valley. And then more highlands and another village right down here. So... I've got one village here, one village here, and I thought I had a third one. Maybe not. I got a lot of snow over there, uh, and there is actually a spot right here where there is an ice spire in the middle of this river right here, which I went and I checked out because I spawned into the game down over here and as I went north I decided to go west a little bit and I found that and that thing's cool uh, I do want to go check out that depression right there and see what that is but I wanted a slightly warmer climate so we've got ocean out here uh, my nearest portal is right there that is my portal sitting out on its own little island right there and that is the only portal I've found so far. And that looks like a sunken ship over there. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm currently standing right there. And this is the mountain that I want to build on right up there. So then I've got a view of all these other biomes around me here. So it's going to be a great view up there. And one of the great things about this mountain is, you see that right there? That great big opening. Most of this mountain, all the way around and down into there, is hollow. So, I've got a huge cave inside my mountain uh, that I can build stuff in there. So, my little village here... Uh, there's a few houses down here. Most of them are down here in the lower part. 
and then the spire over there i'm thinking i'm gonna go over there and i'm gonna make a set of stairs that climb all the way up to the top of this thing and maybe put a beacon or two on top of that thing uh, there is a huge mountain way over there that i could probably build something on top of i might do that later who knows but over here behind my little village there is this that goes up and around the mountain over there but unfortunately it comes down and it kind of ends right here so i've got to build something kind of down this way that will take me down into my little village here because you know i got to come down and talk to these guys eventually so the trees really appeal to the canadian side the fact that it's Highlands really appeals to the Scottish side, and that mountain is huge. I'm going to have to go visit that later. But yeah, so this wanders its way around and up the mountain, and it does go up over to about there. But then it's kind of a steep side getting up there, so I was thinking... This is going to wander around up to about here. And there's going to be an area right here. And then from here, I'm going to have a set of stairs that climbs up here. And, or I might even start right here. And we'll just go up this face right here. That's not a bad area over there, but I'm going to go over here. And it's going to wander through these trees, I will have some stairs and paths coming through here. And look, sheep. Yeah, what good Scotsman doesn't have some sheep on his land? And my house is going to be up here. So, yeah, that's going to be the house. I'm going to put a patio over here somewhere. Because uh, then I can look down at my village and that forest over there and that snowy area over there. And then we've got our purple trees over on this side. Uh, ooh, roses. Okay. I may uh, keep them around. Who knows? Maybe plant a few along the path down there. But I like that uh, we've got the different trees in summer and uh, fall foliage around here. That is just awesome. Uh, somewhere, I believe it's over on this side over here. From up here, I can't see it from here <laughs> because of the clouds. So my village is there and that spire is right over there. So somewhere behind that cloud over there is that spire. But I will put a beacon on it and it should be visible way up here. So this cave takes up the entire mountain. The whole thing is hollow. There's an entrance over there somewhere, another one over there. We've got this huge one right here. Uh, there are a few more further down. There's one over there. Oh, a zombie and a creeper. Hi. But it comes down here, and then we've got these glow fruit down here that are kind of lighting the area up a bit. And wandering around down here somewhere, there is a witch. And if we go down into this little area right here, it's very, very quiet down here. There's no zombies, no skeletons, no creepers in here, which is kind of surprising. I would have expected at least one or two of them to have fallen down into here. But, uh, yeah. They're all up here. And once you come up here, lots of echoes. Uh, the witch is somewhere over here. 
we do have some water coming in, which is kind of nice. So I want to do something with this cave because this cave is just massive. Oh, look, an Enderman over there. Hey, bud. Where'd you go? There you are. Hi. How are you? I'm staring right at you. <laughs> I just booped an Enderman and he did nothing. Gotta love it. So yeah, this cave wanders... Oh, there's an opening over here. It wanders back over this way. We've got two openings over here. So this one opens right behind my little village. So, and there's another cave down here. And I, this one does not connect to the other one. So that's fine. So yeah, that's where the path kind of ends right there. And then I want to kind of make something down around this way that kind of avoids those caves because I don't want anybody wandering into the caves. Kind of dangerous in there. There's my spire. There's that really cool mountain over there that I'm going to go investigate later. But the sun is going down. Sunsets in here are awesome. So the sun rises. And nighttime because of the shaders that I'm running right now, which are complementary unbound. Um, the night sky, I get northern lights. All kinds of stars and the northern lights. There's the stars. They're coming in now. The sun's almost down. And pretty soon we should see the northern lights up there. There's the moon. Uh, I got a little bit of lava over there, which is cool. Um, okay, I'm going to hop into my bed. We're going to fast forward this to morning. Uh, it doesn't look like the northern lights are going to come out tonight. Uh, so, yeah, let's just fast forward. Because there is an area that I want to show you. And, man, that's on his break. Wow. So, there's the village, and on the mountain here, there is a spot that I want to show you, and it's over here, I think, possibly, if I can remember where it is, I believe it's over here somewhere. Hmm, not over there. It's oh, Yeah, it's definitely on my mountain here. Um, not terribly high up, but high enough. And, okay, so there's that that runs up there. Where did I put this thing? Well, I didn't put it there. It was there to begin with. There it is. Way down at the bottom there. So, my path winds around here to my village and on the other side of the mountain from my village I've got a lava pool right there that looks over at those mountains and that river and right beside my lava pool is this pool so we've got water in there and it's just kind of hanging out here in midair We've got a pit down there that's got lots of water in it. So if we ever decide to toss some zombies and creepers down there, we can watch them fight it out down there while we sit in our pool up here and enjoy the view of that valley over there. So yeah, I am going to make use of this. Uh, there is a way in over there, but uh, yeah, I might just make some stairs down right there that come to it and then we can oh that that wasn't a good thing 
Okay, the whole thing. Oh, that was all made of sand. Oh, I'm going to have to fix that now. Uh, no, I don't want gravel or mycelium. Andesite? Maybe. Yeah, sure. Let's go with andesite. Uh, and yeah. Block that off. So now my water doesn't go running out of here and down there. Although that does look kind of cool. Um, adds another water source to it. Kind of nice. That's coal. But yeah. Uh, so, this is going to be a bit of a project, this thing. Uh, I am going to have to make a path somewhere over on this side. If it comes around to there. So we've got almost kind of a path right there. But I will build something else that comes over here. Does that go down to the caves? No. That does lead into this cave. Which leads into the main cave over this cave over here. Okay. Another cave. We have more places to explore. Cool. Alright. Well, I will uh, get to that later. Okay, so that does come out there. Down there and up there. Okay, so I'm going to make a path that follows along this route over here to my village. And it looks like they've got an entrance to a cave right there. I am going to put a dock right there with a boat so that we can go over to the spire and go visit our beacon over there. But, uh, yeah. So, that's the plan right now. Uh, is to build a house up there. And then stairs that come down and wind all the way down to this village. A dock, a beacon. Um, do something with that pool over there. And yeah. So, I'm going to get out of here. I've rambled on enough. And I'm going to go get to work on this. Because this, uh, this excites me. I like this. I like the terrain. I like the area. I like the trees, the village. Uh, I like it all. So yeah, I'm going to get up there and start building a house and a path and everything. And later, when I've got more for you, I'll be back. So until then, I'll catch you later.